Hello everyone out there in YouTube land. I'm the Sun Maven and welcome back to my channel, Shopping in Scents. So today I have my top eight um, Yankee Candle fragrances to share with you. These are not only my top eight, but these are my only eight. Um, I have nine total Yankee Candles in my collection and um, I have a double of one. So the reason that I only have these eight is that these are ones that I've tried before and have had success with and now are part of my permanent collection. They are the only scents that I will purchase from Yankee Candle because I find Yankee Candle to be unscented or very lightly scented and I don't like the larger jars. They take forever to pull out and it's just not worth it to me. So I have only tumblers. I have better luck with the two wick tumblers than the large jars. Also, I have to say, and I haven't bought Yankee Candle in a long time because I have the scents that I want and I'm saving them for the appropriate occasion to burn them. And the new candles, now granted, I haven't smelled any of the new scents in a while, but I think, I think the, oh my voice, I think that the new candle labels, well, they are not really that new, but ever since they changed, what is wrong with my voice? I feel like I'm at that episode of the Brady Bunch when Bobby's, is it Bobby's voice changes when it's time to change? What is going on with me? Okay, I feel like um, when they change the labels from the wide um, horizontal labels to the skinny vertical labels they're just hideous you can't see the picture very well on those labels they just look horrible and the the ironic thing is the the family that started Yankee Candle the, the Kittredge family I think that's how it's pronounced the dad started the, the company and then the son went off and found a Kringle candle, which I've tried their candles and I find them to be mostly unscented. They only have, uh, the only ones that I like from them are the little uh, tw 12 hour little round candles. They're not tea lights, I, I can't remember what they're called. Um, daylights, I think they're called daylights because they last like a day, like 12 hours. Those are pretty good, but the candles are basically unscented and they're, they're you know, thing is that it's all white wax and then they started I read online in 2017 this new line of candles called country candles and so they took the original looking wide labels that were on the Yankee Candle large jars and now have put them on these large jars that look just like Yankee Candle except it says country candle and it's being sold through Kringle so anyway I am not a Yankee Candle shopper, so these scents are pretty special. I can't really find good duplicates of them in other places, and so that's why I continue to purchase them. So, let me start off with one of my very, very favorites, uh, and I have two of them because it is such a favorite. And that is um, Fresh Cut Roses. So this is a beautiful, beautiful candle. Look at that label and the pink wax. Beautiful. Um, it's two wicks. It is an amazing, amazing scent. Now, I will tell you guys, um, and this is in the floral, in the, little, in the floral category, as though that was a big surprise to you. Um, I have tried their other rose scent, which is called True Rose, and it's in a red wax. I do not like it as much as the Fresh Cut Roses. The True Rose, it just has that one kind of rose note to it, like a grandma smell. Uh, a lot of, and I've mentioned this before on my channel, a lot of rose type scents, if they're not done correctly, have the tendency to smell like bad air freshener that grandma used to use in the bathroom. I don't know if your grandma did, mine did. Um, so this is so weird. This candle has got like a ring of wax that's 
separated and this one doesn't i don't know why but anyway so the the bottom line is if you're going to pick a rose scent pick fresh cut roses as opposed to true rose because that one just smells old lady like and this one has more of a rich uh, rose scent but with other flowers like i just walked into a florist so and you can see there's pink roses yellow roses red roses so a really really good scent this one i'm actually currently i'm currently burning it i like it because it doesn't smell old lady like i know i'm going with it. a lot of it's well pink peony peonies can kind of smell like roses a little bit this is also in the floral category this beautiful pink label here this just has a beautiful floral scent it smells like peonies and it still has that fresh uh green background notes to it i don't know if i'm describing that right I don't know if any of these candles are still available online. I hope they are. Uh, but like I said, all of these that I'm showing you, I would would repurchase them. But I have hesitated to, to burn the ones that I have because, uh, like I said, I don't want to buy the ones with the horrible new skinny labels. And um, there was another reason horrible new oh and the fact that um some of these i don't think are available right now so let me go on to this one this is one of my very favorites i'm going to say that about all this and that's very licious now i tried this in a one wick large jar and i liked the scent a lot even though i had terrible issues with that candle it wouldn't burn properly it kept tunneling it was just a mess but because i like the scent even though it wasn't strong i decided to get it in the tumbler and had better luck with it and so i have saved one of the berry licious and this is a berry scent you get berry scents anywhere it's a beautiful like a dark blue purpley wax like an indigo color you can get berry scents anywhere but this is just so perfect it's just sweet berries and almost like a cream like with a cake cream there so how you imagine what's in the picture would smell like is how it smells it's just an amazing berry combination and i really really love it now this next candle is a fragrance that bath and body works tried to do not too successfully i much prefer and this is very rare that i would say this in this case i much prefer the yankee candle version to the bath and body works version and that is red velvet this beautiful red wax it smells just like red velvet oh you get the cake note you get the cream you get the chocolate you get a little bit of that vanilla it kind of smells like play-doh a little bit i know that's a weird comparison but have you ever opened up like a um jar of play-doh and it kind of smells like a vanilla cookie but in a weird way this is just the perfect red velvet so and it's gorgeous all of these candles are are gorgeous now the next one is another favorite other companies have tried to do this candle but i think yankee does it the best and that is black cherry not to be confused with cherries on snow or whatever other cherry scent they do black cherry it smells like luden's cough drops times 10 it's definitely it's not an artificial cherry yes it smells like luden's cough drops but it also has a natural smelling cherry juicy burst to it 
that's really, really amazing. You almost can smell the stems. Yeah. Why they took away these beautiful labels, I have no idea. And this, this is in the fruit category. Do they even put the categories on the labels anymore? I don't know. Now this one is, I'm, I'm hoarding it. It's turning on me. It's turning from white to yellow. And I have mixed feelings about this candle. I bought this in the large jar. And I love, love, loved it. But the scent was so light. You had to be within a foot of the candle to be able to smell it. But when you could smell it, it was just the most beautiful, delicate, amazing floral. So I decided to try it again in the tumbler. And that is the Tahitian Tiari Flower. Now, I know Bath & Body Works did a Tiari Flower. It smells a whole lot different than this. Like I said, the most amazing, delicate floral ever. That's why I hesitate to burn it because I don't even think that they still have it out. I don't know if it's coming back or where it is, but um, yeah, I'm, I'm disappointed that the white wax has now turned this yellow color. So it may be time to, to burn this candle. Now, you know that I'm a fan of Bath & Body Works Snap Peas. Uh, Yankee Candle does a version of it, um, and they call theirs Green Grass. Now, one of my favorite scents in the whole world is to walk outside, especially after it's rained, and smell freshly mowed lawns. I don't know why. Just something about that fresh cut grass scent is just so appealing to me. And I think Yankee Candle really captures it in this candle. It really, I don't know why my nose is running so much from these candles. I'm uh, having scent overload. It's a beautiful uh, mint green color. And this is in the uh, fresh category. I think, yeah, so it's going to be either fresh fruit or floral. Except for the next one. No, the next one is, is fresh also. So, yeah, it's a really nice green plant smell. I really quite enjoy it. And then finally, we have what would be the equivalent of Bath & Body Works Leaves Candle, which every candle company, I think, has to have their own special iconic uh, fall fragrance and for Yankee Candle that's going to be a uh, pumpkin wreath that is probably no surprise to anyone and that is in the fresh category as well pumpkin wreath well wreath you might think it'd be floral they don't have one that says seasonal is very licious ah uh, no I shouldn't say that very licious is not in the fruit category it's actually in the food and spice category with a little evil gingerbread man there as is the red velvet that's food and spice so anyway pumpkin wreath a lot of people have reviewed this candle and it smells like the inside of a craft store it's cinnamon and pumpkin pie and apples and it's just fall in a jar. It's it's wonderful. So, I will say that when Yankee Candle does a scent well, they do it really well. They have some unique fragrances. However, I would say to you guys, before you go out and purchase any of these, that each candle even if you buy the same exact fragrance in the same tumbler, varies from batch to batch, from year to year, from candle to candle. And with Yankee Candle, it's pretty much a crapshoot as to whether you're gonna get a throw from your candle. And because of that, that is why I'm not a frequent 
Yankee Candle Shopper. So if you would like to try any of these fragrances, uh, you know, be my guest. But know that you're always taking a chance with the Yankee Candle. It's much more of a gamble than it is with Bath & Body Works. And the return policy on Yankee Candle, um, I wouldn't say it's bad. But with Bath & Body Works, they have the 100% satisfaction guaranteed. And if you burn a candle and you don't like it, you can bring it back and they will exchange it and they will not give you a hard time. I've had bad experiences returning, exchanging Yankee candles where the salesperson will make it seem like it's my fault that the candle did not throw or did not burn properly. Um, I've brought candles back that have had no scent throw and they've said, well, did you use an Illumilid? Did you trim your wicks? Did you make sure you let the candle pull out? Did you do this? Did you do that? They are very accusatory and they, they make it seem like it's your fault. And I have not had, like I said, I've not had good experiences with them. And I have found that at least the stores that I went to, if you ask them, what's your strongest? I remember I asked the sales associate one time, what is the strongest scented Yankee candle you have in the whole store and she really didn't know she was like I don't really know the candles that well and then she handed me like the chocolate layer cake candle which I'm not a fan of chocolate scented candles at all uh, at least not just you know chocolate by itself and then she also suggested the vanilla snowflake candle which is a beautiful beautiful candle it's a light pastel pink with like this uh, snowflake cookie on it that has the almost looks like little pearls in it it's it's a gorgeous gorgeous candle and uh, I you know bought that one it had no scent throw at all and then the other one there's one that they haven't brought back that I wish they would even if it's in a large jar I would buy it again because it was amazing but the scent throw was really light and that was the candy apple. The it, It's a red candle with beautiful pictures of these glossy candy apples, perfect for Halloween fall time. Um, I was heartbroken with the, the large jar because first it had no scent at all. I had to wait till it got, you know, way towards the middle before it got any kind of a throw. And then the throw was very, very light. And so I was disappointed because this, the scent was so beautiful, so authentic. And yet it just, the candle was a flop for me. But because it was so special, I would pick it up again, even if it didn't come in a tumbler, which I would prefer. And even if it had that damn ugly label now that they have on all their candles, what were they thinking? What kind of, does anybody like those labels? I, I don't know. I certainly don't. Anyway, um, I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, if you are a fan of Yankee Candle, uh, <laughs> tell me what your, your favorite Yankee Candle is below. Tell me what the strongest scented Yankee Candle that you've ever burned is. I know that when I was growing up, uh, and I went into, and I've said this in other videos, and I'm turning in this into a Yankee Candle rant. When I was a kid, and I used to go to the mall, into the Yankee Candle store, I used to get a headache from all the scents in the store. They were so strong. I used to hate going in there. The bad enabler used to drag me into Yankee Candle. I couldn't understand why I wasn't into candles at that time. And the scents were so, so overwhelming. And I remember buying, like, uh, honeydew melon, Macintosh apple, um, some kind of mango tropical scent in the mini jars and then being so strong, so, so strong. Now you go into a Yankee candle store, you don't smell anything. You don't, you don't smell anything. It just smells like, it kind of smells like a craft store, maybe a little bit, but you really don't smell anything. Um, yeah. And th there was something else that I wanted to say about that. Oh, and I burned those candles that I burned as a as a teenager, as an adult, 
the Macintosh apple and the the cucumber melon no was it or is it honeydew melon honeydew melon and I was so disappointed I could not believe how diluted the fragrance had gotten from from years past to now um or to more recently I shouldn't say it like I said I haven't bought a Yankee Candle in quite a while and uh another candle that I tried that I liked the scent but was just too weak for me and I got turned off by it, it was golden sands uh, like I said, these were all large jars that I tried. And then I tried those crackling wick ones and they were completely unscented. Um, I have a playlist of candle reviews if you want to check some of those out. So anyway, tell me what your strongest scented Yankee candle is. Tell me what the best one is. Um, and let me know if it's in tumbler or large jar form. And also what you think about those skinny labels. So anyway... Thank you for watching. Remember to comment, rate, subscribe, and until next time, goodbye everyone out there in YouTube land.